it's a one of a kind video store that you wouldn't find anywhere else. As soon as we came here, it was like the best video store in all of WA. Planet's like a family. But it's all memories in there. Oh, well, I've been coming to Planet since probably about 2001 and um, friends of mine basically recommended this as a place to find really obscure movies or classics which I was really into but I couldn't find at my local video library. Planet Video is probably just a place that everyone feels like they're a part of a community. And we just decided that we were going to get the best collection of film we could. Uh, on all levels, commercial, cult classic, festival. So we just bought and bought, travelled over east, bought a lot of second-hand videos wherever we could get them and built up a collection. We used to have the 24-hour fresh provisions across the street and you would, you know, and Planet was open really, really late as well. So it was kind of a, a place to hang out in, you know. You, you, you would talk to the people who worked here, you would talk to other people who were coming here. It was kind of a meeting joint. Girls were kind enough to uh, print off my uh, rental history for me. It's almost a little bit depressing to see how much time of my life I was <laughs> watching movies. We've had robberies, we've had fights, we've had a lot of funny situations, you know. We had, we used to hold hip hop competitions when we had the corner, you know. There were a lot of funny things happened. It was a very entertaining place to work. And people liked to work here because it was, you didn't know what was going to happen next. And certainly we, we, attracted a lot of left of centre crew. We used to get a lot of would-be gangsters in here buying up all these posters, you know. You could always tell because they'd buy stacks of them, they had plenty of cash. I met one guy, he was a good customer, I can't remember his name. And he came in for about a year and we knew he was up to something because he was always on his mobile phone, he was moving fast, this guy, and about a year later I read they'd put him away for 20 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was moving a bit too fast, you know. Well, I had some people browsing the store um, who said that they were looking for the most disturbing films that we had. Uh, and it's really a weird thing to try and recommend disturbing films because I'm disturbed by disturbing films. So how do I recommend that, you know? And uh, I recommended there's a 1975 film called Salo, which was actually banned here in Australia until 2008 because it's so sadistic. <laughs> and I recommended that, them that and they said, oh, well, we thought that was a little bit girly. <laughs> and this is a film that I couldn't watch 15 minutes of, you know. Favourite film that I've actually got from a video shop um, is called Bong of the Dead. I mean, we used to get people coming in the shop with the worst bits of rubbish and saying, that was a fantastic film. What are you going to say? You're not going to stand there and say, no, it wasn't. You're going to say, oh, that was nice for you. Very good. <laughs> The internet obviously has made it a lot harder for industries like this to survive, but um, with the resources that it has uh, behind it, I think that's what's kept it going as long as it has. I think Netflix is really the final nail in the coffin. I really do. I mean, I don't really blame people like uh, for going towards convenience, but there is definitely something that's been lost. I think that one of the weirdest things about our generation is that the same time that Spotify accounts going up, people are buying vinyls again. I think people are always going to want something physical, especially once everything starts being online. The greatest loss was definitely the fact that Planet was an icon. I mean, I went to the store as a kid. I, I remember being five and going to Planet Video, and it's just crazy knowing that like heaps of people would come into the store, we'd be like, oh, well, we're closing, we're not selling our DVDs, and everyone would just be like, oh my gosh, really? You guys are closing? This place has been here for 25 years. I have had like grown men, when I tell them the news, they sort of almost like break down a little bit in front of you and that's really hard to see. Uh, just that it's meant so much to some people. You know, people do say, oh my God, Planet's closed down, you know, but when was the last time you rented a movie? But that's one of the factors, people lost the rental habit. They moved on to other forms of entertainment. And I think if you're in any form of hospitality or or an entertainment game, you, you can't expect to be around forever because tastes change. I think DVD stores generally won't be around much longer. I mean, especially seeing as planets closed. Nothing stands still forever. You know, I don't want to be the last bowling alley in town. Um, 
To get 25 years out of a small business is pretty amazing. To get 25 years out of a business that always had technology coming at it was even more amazing. So yeah, it's sad, but it's inevitable. Anyone you speak to who's been coming here for a long time will feel that there's now going to be a gap in their life. I mean, it's really depressing seeing all the empty shelves now. The good thing about coming to a video store has always been that ability to walk through aisles and aisles of stories. I mean, to me, it's always been something about just being surrounded by hundreds of stories. That physical attachment as well is something that's important to humans, I believe. That ability to pick something up and hold it in your hands and look at it and it's something you don't get with online. You're disconnected from, from viewing things online. And coming here, it, it makes it all a little bit more realistic. And I mean, the amount of people I have coming in now that, you know, I was coming in when I was a kid, they've grown up. I mean, I was young when I went into this. I was in my early 30s. It's been great. It was great fun over the years. It was a great place to work. And it was a hell of a ride. But um, we move on. Blind.